Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop, and I want to do an astrology card reading about Putin. What's happening with Putin? So I'm just going to shuffle the cards right, and let's see what is going on. So Putin, the first card will be himself. And I'm just going to put a card on every house randomly. Let's see what we get. Okay, and then there's four left over in the middle. All right, so let's see. First card is Putin himself, his physical uh, appearance, the way he's projecting himself into the world, Cupid. Okay, so Cupid's an unusual one for... Uh, Putin, because Cupid is all cute and sweet, but Cupid can also be fickle. Cupid used to shoot many arrows in different directions and make the other gods and humans fall in love. And he was a bit of a naughty boy and he was a bit immature. So this is an unusual one for Putin because I would have expected something more aggressive or kind of uh, dominating or domineering or bossy but this is like childish childlike so this is emphasizing to me that he's not really sure what he's doing because Cupid was not known for being a strategy guy he was known for just being naughty and shooting arrows and making a bit of a mess of things he often made you know goddesses and lovers fall in love with the wrong love and it would end up being a tragedy so this is an interesting one i wasn't expecting that one for putin now let's go over to his army army in astrology is number six one one two three four five six let's see how his army is doing so we've got neptune and it's upside down. So Neptune often is the, to do with the sea. Often it's associated with the Navy as well. And because it's upside down, it's indicating that there's something uh, not very organized or perhaps a bit out at sea, a bit wishy-washy. Now, Neptune is not a very good one for an army because it often means wavering and up and down like the sea. So again, we've got another card or another planet that is not very stable and focused. Neptune tends to be drifting back and forward like the tide. So very, very, we've got two cards that are very, very uh, unstable and ungrounded. I also wanted to add that in astrology, the sixth house, one, two, three, four, five, six, is also health. It's ruled by Virgo. And Neptune in a health question is not very good. Often Neptune is associated with hospitals, doctors, medicine, institutions. So this would also indicate that Putin's health is not very good as well. Okay, so now let's look at Putin's career. So number 10 position. And he's got Pluto. Now, Pluto was the god of death and god of the underworld. So it could be indicating that there's going to be a change in his career, that he's going to let go of one thing to begin another. Often Pluto can also mean feeling a little bit in the dark or uncertain as to where things are going. It could also be a little bit depressed as well. Okay. So I'm going to just do one more about Russia. Russia is the fourth house, which is the homeland. So let's see how Russian people and Russian population are dealing with things. Vulcan. So Vulcan, again, is not a happy, happy god. He tended to be used and abused and not acknowledged. And Vulcan is upside down as well, which is emphasizing that. So... Vulcan was the hard worker, the man with the hammer, the working class, but he was often um, ignored or undervalued for his efforts. So I think the people are going to 
majority of the people. This could also be the men as well, leaving a lot of men leaving the country uh, because uh, because they're not feeling uh, recognized or feeling acknowledged. So, so all in all, it does not look very good for Putin. I'm not really seeing victory in these cards. To summarize, I, I feel like there's a lot of fickleness. His army is feeling very wishy-washy and out at sea. There's an end to his career and a change. And the people are trying to work things out, trying to make things work, but feeling undervalued and unacknowledged, perhaps even underpaid. So this is not really a victory a victory reading as far as I can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull an extra card on top of Pluto. So let's just randomly just choose one. Okay. Mercury. Mercury is more about communication, talking communication. So again, it's not really a victory, success, victory god. In mythology, Mercury was the god of information, communication, talking. And again, this is really emphasizing to me a feeling of an ending because in mythology, Mercury would uh, transport the dead souls to the underworld, to Pluto. So this is like news of an ending of his career. So I would say in 2023, this Putin fellow is not gonna have a good time. I'm not seeing him being victorious and I'm actually seeing an ending of his career, possibly even his own health and his own life. Because these just look to me like he's, he's trying to be cute. He's not really solid. His army's not solid. And there's definitely kind of like an, a change of the uh, change of guard and Mercury is the herald of the news. So he's not getting victory gods. He's not getting Jupiter or Apollo or Athena. These would be the goddesses of victory, but these are not, they're not appearing in these cards. In fact, what's appearing is it's very fickle and very fickle. This is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop.